There's a yeah. big dog. Wow. Wow. happy now. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, sweet. Oh, sweet baby. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yep. So for the ones who weren't sure, you know, when I said that I was, my last pregnancy test I had taken was a negative and it was negative. It was a big bummer, but it was like no surprise to me because my body, like I've been in this for a long time. So when I tell you that I know my body and I know when it just isn't going to happen or when you know, I say, you know, we're not, we're not out until our cycle starts. Well, mine did start. It actually started the very next morning. So, yes. Cycle day 15. Well, 15 DPO is what I meant. That is when my... Uh, dang it. This machine is too loud. Hold on. Let me get somewhere that's a little quieter. Sorry about that. And then now I am going to go ahead and prepare my brain for a little bit more for March 14th. My mammogram and ultrasound. first day of my life to a whole new world like this this could be the changing of my life I just don't know it's kind of scary I mean um but just pray for me I'm going in to get these tests done and I can do it hello 
is already pre-registered. I have a sonogram and radiology and stuff like that. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah, I, it turns out I tied it the wrong... I was supposed to put it on the other way um, because of my mammogram. They wanted me to put it uh, frontwards and tie it from the front, I guess. They didn't know that. <laughs> Nothing is going right <clears throat> for me. So I called this hospital. I was supposedly pre-registered. Then I get here. And I wasn't pre-registered, right? So that was all that. Then I go down there and she pre-registers me. Then I get up here. Number one, I had an ultrasound that I was supposed to take. She was like, oh, we're gonna do your mammogram. I've already drinking. I've drank so much water. Like my, I'm about to, you know. And she was like, no, we're not doing that. We're just gonna do your mammogram. I'm like, I'm just confused. Okay. <laughs> I'm here. I just now had the ultrasound and they said that my lining was the lining was really thick and stuff which could be why I have really a lot of like bad periods and stuff but um she didn't tell me anything else that was on there but I'll, I'll find out when they send the results just tie it in the front and there's four lockers any of them that are empty you can put your clothes in okay thank you yep and you can use this one and yep, your top and bra, and you should um, tie it in the front. Okay. And then there's four lockers for your clothes. Any of them? There's a squishing that you use. Oh. That's a good thing. Yeah, because that, that's what I, my fear was. It was much better than I remember. I told her, you're slick. She's worried. I said, you're slick. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Do you have to say to somebody out there with you, Mom? No, it's downstairs out of the car. If you just take me to the elevator, I can do that. All right. <laughs> or whoever, take me to the elevator. <laughs> what? Oh, I forgot my phone. Oh. And my glasses. Jeez. Here's your glasses. I'm like a little kid. <laughs> no, you're fine. That's how I am. Thank you. You're welcome. Good luck. You'll be good. You're yep. good. Nice. Thank you. Good luck with your results and Thank stuff. Thank you. You too, honey. I think you'll be all right, though. Yeah, me too. Left foot. Oh, that's as far as it goes. Oh, it is? Okay. I'll hold it up. Okay. Still okay. Oh, my mammogram. I can set your face right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've tied it. <laughs> That's okay. We'll switch it around. around. Okay. Yeah. Glasses, glasses off. off. You're good. Yeah. 
that right in front of the machine and it's right in front of that facing it. Uh, you never had a mammogram, correct? And no chance you're pregnant? No. Have you had a tubal for pregnancy or surgery on your uterus or anything? I've had um, I've had a surgery where they removed my left fluke into me. They, okay. they have removed polyps from me. They've taken off endometriosis off my right tube. Um, um, yes, pretty much it. Okay, all right. Yeah. But no change of pregnancy? No, no, no. All right. <laughs> What's your birth date? September 6th. Full name. Nikki Ma. All right. I'll be explaining as we go. You've never had one. Okay. And just pull your hair back off oh, your shoulders. Yes. Yeah. There we go. Okay. We're good. What we'll be doing will be putting your breast up on this platform. This paddle will come down and compress your breast. It needs to be tight. The reason is if there's something in there, the other breast tissue could sit on top of it, around it, and hide it. We didn't miss it. We have to spread it out so we can see down through all the different layers. All right. Okay. Any questions? Now, you have pain in your left breast, is mm -hmm. that correct? Yes. And it comes and goes? Yes. It's not all the time. It's not constant. But when someone touches it or I get poked there or kicked there for my toddler or my seatbelt, it just seems like it. It's been going on for how long? A long time. As long as I can remember, at least four years. At least four years. Now you can't feel any lumps in there. I'm too scared. You to don't check. get any discharge from your nipple. No. Nothing like that. No, no, okay. No. I'm, I'm just too scared to check. That's <laughs> all right. And my I mean, mom was like, just let me check. And I'm like, no, I don't want to. And I've been putting this off for so long. All right. But now I have my little baby, and I'm like, she needs me to live forever. So exactly. I'm like, I have to go and get this checked. Let's just right. do it. Exactly. What we're gonna do is take that off. Whoops, this arm right in here. Okay, there we go. Now, just let your arms drop. We're going to decorate you up. This is routine. And when we're done, just take these off and throw them away. Now, is your pain in the whole breast or is it localized in one like area? right here. Okay. Do you do a lot of lifting at work or anything like that? No, not at desk. I just answer phones, check people in at my hotel. I've been there almost five years. So this is where the center of the pain is, right? Yes. Right yes. in here? Right. Okay. All right, just bring your head up. Bring your hair back again. My name's Terry. Give me your arm again. Now lift your knee. Now turn your head only towards me. I'm going to side step you to it a little bit. Good. Good. I'll be lifting and pulling and adjusting and readjusting.
everything is looking good. Me too, bye. All right, everyone. So I am leaving my local hospital, getting out of here. Okay, so after that mammogram, which freaked me out because, you know, they do their thing. It was, it was, I guess it was a 3D thing, but they still put my boobs up into this clamp and they push it down. They get your armpit in it. It's, they, you get both armpits in it and you have to hold your arm up and hold your arms down. Like, it's something. Anyway, so I'm driving. Um... on my way back home so the doctor knew how scared i was well the lady who did it knew how scared i was and she said well she's gonna go talk to the doctor and then don't leave leave your breast shirt on uh, the hospital shirt on just in case they have to bring you back because that's what they do they do a mammogram and once that's done the doctor can take a look and once that's happened then they um if they see anything they'll let they want to talk to you and then they'll send the final results to your doctor okay so i waited and waited and waited i was in there for like 15 minutes seemed like 15 hours just waiting to you know to get any kind of work she came back in and she said honey she's like come back she yelled my name well called my name i went back and she's like i just want to let you know she put her hand on my shoulder so i just want to let you know everything looked good um, the doctor will send your final results over to your doctor, but we don't need to do any further testing. And, you know, <sighs> do you, <sighs> I could cry right now. You know, I did start to tear up in that office because I kind of told her, I was like, I don't want to leave my babies behind. You know, no one does. I mean, that's a scary, scary thought to have, to get any kind of cancer. Um, so I'm, I'm on my way home though so I'm gonna try and put this video video all together for you today March 14th Thursday everything looked good on my mammogram they did want me to think about having a hysterectomy though sorry there's cars everywhere I'm driving down 